in this presentation we are going to go and look into the A1 that is the injections and uh, in this presentation we are going to be looking into the SQL injection from the OWASP top 10. So introduction. So SQL injection is one of the most dangerous vulnerabilities in which the user supply data is being directly passed to SQL query without any validation. It enables attackers to execute arbitrary SQL queries. And it also allows attackers to bypass logins and successful exploitations allows attackers to compromise the entire database. So before going ahead and getting to know about the SQL injection, let us go ahead and look into how web applications work. So basically we have three tires here, the one being the client tire, the application tire and the data tire. So in the first tire we see the web browser that is on the client side. It sends an HTTP request to the application, uh, to the web application server that is in the application tire. And this could be either the PHP, JSP, ASP or anything else for that matter. And from there the uh, web application server contacts to the database server which is there in the data tire and which henceforth executes the, executes the X SQL query and on the database server we might have uh, either the MySQL or MSSQL or any other database management system. So this is in basic how a web application works. So if we consider this in the simple terms it would pretty much be like this. The browser from the client side sends in this. Hey server I'm David and here is my password allow me to log in. But then the web server here it just takes some time and tells okay one, one moment and sends it directly to the database. So here it asks the database if it knows anyone with the name David and the password being 123. And in return database replies to the web server telling that yes it does know. And from web server to the browser it just takes in the user because it already knows that the database already has a registry of uh, this particular username with the password. So the flow of information in this example would go like this. From the user side it goes like uh, if considered to be the get request. The username equals David and the password equals 123. That goes in the URL. And from the application server to the database it uh, gives a command uh, an SQL query. That is the select start from users where the username is David and the password is 123. And in return uh, the database returns a row and the application retrieves the data from the database and uh, from then on it displays the page back to the user. So this is how the flow of information gen uh, uh, generally happens in, in the basic terms. So here we see on the client tire the username just gives his username and the password and clicks on the login and uh, in between we have the application tire wherein the PHP code runs here. We see that the username value and the password value is being taken via the post method here and uh, these inputs are being taken and uh, a query that is the select star from users where the username equals the uh, dollar username which is this and the password equals dollar password which is this variable is being made and this is sent to the MySQL and if it is successful it would give out the information as uh, login successful else it would give out the information as a login failed and at the data tire it could it would take the input from uh, the uh, the D, uh, db server executes the following query which is received from the application layer that is the select star from users where the username is david and the password is pass so it's going to uh, check for these two uh, parameters that is being given there that is the username and the password if it is present in the database it is going to give back that particular row that is the db server returns a row uh, of this particular username david and the password so this is uh, about how the data tire works so let us try to understand the sql injection in the basic terms so here in the first frame we see that uh, a parent gets a call from her uh, son's school wherein they say that they are having a computer trouble but then uh, uh, she asks whether did he break something or, some, uh, or anything as such uh, and the reply would be in a way and uh, in the third frame we see that 
then they ask her a question whether did they name her son as Robert a quotation uh, circular brackets semicolon after that we have a SQL statement there wherein drop table students which is used to uh, drop the table from the database and uh, yeah she does reply with an affirmation there and uh, and the reply from the school would be that you know that they have lost the student records and uh, the reply from this side is that uh, you know and uh, hope that they have learned to sanitize the database inputs so basically the reason the uh, database of the school would have got dropped would be because uh, of this statement that is the drop table students after the uh, name of the student so another way we could take this would be uh, let's assume the a small funny case wherein a case gets filed against the user Perseus and the Perseus writes his name as Perseus comma you can go and the police calls his name uh, as Perseus comma you can go which is the data the data here is the username uh, with the command uh, wherein you can go uh, is the command so considering this into uh, and putting uh, into the SQL statement would be like the Perseus would be the username and uh, you can go uh, could be uh, replaced with any sort of SQL uh, commands so this kind of uh, holds a resemblance with the SQL statements so now testing for the error based SQL injection so let's see what happens if we enter the username with apostrophe character so in the username here we see that the username David is given with the apostrophe character which indeed uh, invokes an error message from the SQL database so it says that we have an error uh, in, in the SQL syntax so it would give us to it would uh, notify us to check the manual that corresponds to the MySQL server version for the right syntax to use near the quotations and the password at line 1 so which uh, basically this uh, shows that there is an error that occurred because of the quotation mark that we put up there but then from the database server's perspective so what is exactly happening at the backend so we see that the uh, SQL statement for this would be select start from users where the username is equals to David and the quotation mark and the password equals pass so as there is an extra quotation mark there so this invokes an error in the SQL syntax so now coming to the exploitation of this uh, SQL injection uh, vulnerability so the exploitation would include the entering a malicious SQL query as username that would drop the users table so as in the previous example we were able to see that uh, we were able to put in the David and apostrophe uh, which given a SQL, SQL uh, syntax error so we got to know that there is a vulnerability present there so we try to put in this that is the David apostrophe semicolon then we given the SQL uh, command that is the to drop the table so which drops the table called users so from the database perspective if we see so the command that is being running at the backend would be select start from users where username equals David and uh, as we put the quotation mark uh, as we put the apostrophe there uh, whatever comes after that is taken as a uh, as a different SQL command that is the drop table users and which henceforth uh, results in dropping of the uh, table called users so next would be the login bypass using the SQL injection so in this scenario we see that uh, we could enter the uh, username as the admin uh, apostrophe or we given a logically true statement that is uh, one equals one and we put hash so which takes in the rest of the uh, things as the comment so this would uh, take either the uh, the you uh, if there is a username called admin or if one equals one so which is a logically true statement so it is going to take the second uh, option where one equals one 
So at, let's see what happens at the backend for this. So from the database perspective, if we see, this is what is exactly happening. So it's going to, uh, the SQL query that is being made there is select star from users where username is equals to admin or if one equals one, which is logically true statement. So which allows the attacker to get access to the admin uh, uh, platform. 